Hello friends, today let's so find the minimum time to finish all jobs. Let's see some examples. In this example, the jobs would be uh, 3 to 3. It means in total we have uh, 3 jobs and each job would take uh, 3 uh, maybe hours or days and uh, 2 days or 3 days. And now we have 3 uh, person who will work on these jobs. So we would like to have the minimum maximum working time. So it means uh, for each person, it's total time. We want the total time uh, to be as small as possible. So in that case, we would just assign these three jobs to the three persons. So each person would work for three days, two days, and three days. So uh, the maximum among this number would be three, right? So. This three is the smallest. Why? Because if we assign these three jobs for one person, it would uh, work for uh, three plus two plus three. It would uh, be eight days. So it's larger than three. So uh, three would be the answer. Let's see another example. If we have five jobs and uh, that's the time they would take, and we only have two persons. so we would like to um, all of the people work as uh, as short as possible, as short as possible. So if we assign the jobs to the person like this, each person only needed to work for 11 days. But if if we assign the job one to four uh, to the first person, uh, seven, eight to a second person, then second person needed to work for 15 days, then uh, 15 is larger than 11, so it would not be the answer. Okay, how to say about this uh, task? It has some hints. Firstly, the K, the job's length is very small. It's just uh, uh, less than 12. So when you see this small number, like less than 16, you would, uh, I mean, you would uh, want to think uh, about uh, the bit masking. We uh, used to solve problems like this before, like the campus bikes. Because we would need uh, each bit to represent uh, the state of each job, like whether it has been done or not. So if uh, the bit equal to one means this job has been done. If the job is zero, uh, I mean the corresponding bit is zero, then no one has done it before. Okay, that's one hint. Another hint is that this task only asks us to return the minimum time to it didn't ask us to return how we will assign these jobs so we don't need to know the details we just need to know the time okay so how to solve this task uh, let's see now we have two persons right but what if we just have one person can we also finish these jobs we can right uh, we just uh, have if k equal to one the jobs would like this, we will still have a minimum time. It would just be the sum of this array, right? So when we have a new person, we will uh, check the, we will update the result based on the result we already got before. So you would think like, mm, we, we will start from the person from one and then person two, person three, like we will still can finish these jobs. But when we have more person, the minimum time would be smaller, right? So I think that's uh, a natural thinking. Okay, so what if one person, how can we calculate this time? We will just uh, add these jobs, right? Um, Like job one, job two, job three. So we will represent it as a bit, you know, each job would be a bit. Like when we take it, then the corresponding bit will be one, so on so forth. So that's what I mean. We can do something like that. This would be the uh, person. It would be, uh, I will start from two, y. Um, and let's all equal then k and a plus plus. So uh, which means, this means if we have two persons, then and the total number will less than k because we, at most we have k persons, right? And then we will check, we will update the mask like, Start from one and mask less than uh, uh, one left uh, uh, shift uh, 
n, right? What is n? n would be the total number of jobs, the jobs length n, and then mask plus plus. So why do I write the the i equal to two two persons? Because when we only have one person, we can let that person do all the job, right? We just need to iterate all of these masks, right? So it's called initialization. Initialization. So it would be mask equal to um, zero, mask less than one, less than n, mask plus plus. And um, for the job, it would be a uh, zero job less than n, job plus plus, something like this. We will update the uh, DP, uh, sorry, there's no DP yet. So it's, uh, for this one, it's for initialization, we just uh, uh, ask uh, the person do all the jobs. So we'll see the minimum time. This is when we have, uh, when we have, when we have more than one person, what do we will do to assign the jobs. So this is the basic, uh, I mean, basic structure. But what about the details? What would be the transition function? The transition function is actually similar like we saw before. It's like when we have a new person, right? We will assign some jobs to him or her, right? And uh, if we consider the job assigned to this person, I, right? I mean, the, uh, the, the I's person, uh, what are the time he will take would be the person I, he would uh, do the job, which would be a sub mask of this mask. Why? Because this mask is the first I persons. They do all the job together and uh, their state is this mask. Like, uh, for example, if it's one, one, zero, one, it means uh, including this I person, they will finish the three jobs, right? But we want to see uh, what is the job specifically did by I person. Like, we consider uh, it would do the one, uh, sorry, zero, one, two, three, the third job, right? If I do the third job, and uh, it would take some time, and the rest of person would do the rest of jobs, what is the time they will uh, they will use? So this kind of like, kind of like we separately consider the ice person, what time uh, it would take. And for the rest, it would uh, just be mask minus the mask, right? So this some mask would be the job done by the ice person. The mask minus some mask would be the job done by the I uh, minus one person. Okay. So in that case, you already can get how we will represent these things. It will just circle DP. Okay, DP. It would call DP and it would uh, be I plus one, it would be uh, one left shift N. It means, uh, I mean, DPIJ just means if we have I persons and uh, they uh, do the job, do the job at the state, at the state of J, the minimum, the minimum time they would use, okay? So in that case, uh, what what would be written here? Because we want to get a minimum time, right? So we will write a minimum. Uh, oh, actually, it should be inside, okay? Okay, it uh, would just be minimum equal to integer max value. And uh, we get something and then minimum, oh, sorry, we will update the DP I person, right? I and uh, the mask would just be the minimum. So what's inside? Inside, as I mentioned, we will separate this mask into two parts, right? So we would like to iterate, enumerate order. Sub mask would be the subset of this mask. Like we consider that's the job done by the ice person. So sub mask not equal to zero. And uh, uh, how to get a sub mask? You can check the previous, uh, I mean, my old video, which uh, talk about the bit, ma uh, bit manipulation. So mask equal to sub mask and then, oh, sorry, it should be, okay, it should be sub 
mask uh, minus one and uh, mask. Okay, so in that case, we will just uh, do the minimum equal to mass minimum, minimum. It would be the maximum of two things. Why? Because this, uh, don't forget, this is the max working time of all the persons, right? So now we separate the mask into two parts. One part would be the work done by the ice person. So it would be DP1 and uh, sub mask. And for the rest of uh, rest of works would uh, be done by I minus one persons, and uh, their job would uh, just be uh, mask minus sub uh, mask. Okay. Okay. Then we get it. We can return these things. In in the end, we will return DP. How many p person? K. Okay. What's the state? It will be I left shift N minus one. Okay. That's the result. Okay, but did we miss anything? We didn't finish this initialization, right? We just uh, do this transition. How about the initialization? It would uh, be, um, we'll check whether this mask consider or it works for the the ice job, whether it works for the ice job. If uh, we just use the parentheses if we don't know the priorities, so if equal to zero, which means the, the current state didn't do the ice job, so we just uh, continue. Only to do the ice job, we will get the left to work. Do something like this, mask minus sub mask. So current mask would be mask. And uh, currently we do this ice job. So how about if we don't do the ice job, would it be I, oh, sorry, one left shift J, okay? So we can update the DP one, uh, that would be mask equal to dp1 left plus if we do the ice job what's time we need to take it would be jobs j right okay so that's it so this is for if we only have one person all the job will be done by this person this so uh it means if we have more than one person so we should start from two okay okay let's just submit it uh uh what's wrong okay okay i see uh some mask it should be capital likes okay okay thank you for watching see you next time